If Poirier gets his hand free there, that's a choke. Chandler's got to keep wrist control here. He's got to keep two on one. Poirier should be punching. There you go, punch. Yep, do some damage. He's got to make Chandler want to give up that, that, that wrist control. Punch again. No, he's just going to try and crank the face. Shift it into position. He's doing it. He's got the neck, but it's not under the neck. It's not under. Now it is. It's over. He's got him. There you go. Let's go, Poirier. Dustin the Diamond. Rene could choke round three. That's how you fucking fight. Let's fucking go. What a scramble to end up on top. He's going to lose to Makashev, but what a fucking win from Poirier, man. Sick fight. Really sick fight. My mouse. Really sick fight. All off the initial scramble of Poirier. He was so much more urgent after round two at the start of round three there. Like in round two, I kind of feel like he thought, well, if he takes me down, I'll get back up. But that time he was like, I can't let him get me down. And it led to him ending up on top in the scramble. Good stuff. Crazy first round. I'm going to watch back that first round for a while. Respect to Chandler, though. You know, still top level, but now it's... Hey! If Chandler's got it in him, Chandler Dan Hooker 2 in Australia. Thanks for the correct prediction. I said end of the first round TKO from Poirier. And to be fair, I was close. But Chandler kind of got saved by the bell. But yeah, good stuff from Poirier.